Valiant Volodymyr versus Vlad the Impaler. A cautionary tale. Vicious, snarling Putin is putting the boot in to so-called free a peace-loving Ukraine, our Western world's precious democratic twin. Zelensky rises, cometh the hour, cometh the man, to fight this bully until one or slain. No longer comedian, but indomitably Churchillian. He pleads for help, at least a no-fly zone. No chance, not a single plane, for we daren't, they reply. You're on your own. But, stern jawed, we must face up and outstare the madness in Putin's eyes. We're all now in existential pain and unite to protect Ukraine's and our egalitarian freedom's skies. Up against an implacable world, he'll be the first to blink, even though a Russian bear of very little brain, to save him going down his own plug hole, emptying his country's sink. If we don't, he'll find another pretext in similar evil vein after he has hapless Ukraine annexed. For there is surely no end to Putin's cunning and malevolence and we'll all need start over again. But from valiant Volodymyr's country will just come grim silence. We watch aghast as pig-eyed Putin and the rest of his gathering swine scourge playing out animal farms ordained bane. Poor liberty! Poor freedom, poor world, even poor Russia, poor us, poor time, but most of all, poor Ukraine, dear Ukraine, brave Ukraine. I, for one, will never, ever forgive our Western leader's greatest shame, that thousands die while they comfortable live. But not in my name, damn you all, not in my name. <laughs>